नमस्कार गुड मॉर्निंग राम राम वेलकम टू यूर चैनल एसीएसट्रो एंड टुडे वी आर हियर विद अ वीकली प्रिडिक्शन ऑफ वीक स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम 28 जन टू 3 फेब एंड हाउ दिस वीक विल वर्क फॉर द ऑल 12 असेंडेंट्स लेट्स वेलकम आकाश चौहान जी फ्रॉम कैलगरी कनाडा आकाश जी नमस्कार राम राम वेलकम नमस्कार रोहित जी राम राम थैंक यू एवरीवन फॉर जॉइनिंग एंड थैंक यू फॉर सब्सक्राइबिंग हियर इज द वीकली हॉरोस्कोप फॉर 28 टू 3 फेब Uh, we will start with Aries. Uh, this is for ascendant. That means rising sign. So whenever you will watch this video, make sure that you look at the rising sign. Uh, weekly predictions are mostly done with the uh, projection of moon and moon's transit. Okay. We also cover the major transits of bigger planets here. So do subscribe if you want to stay and you know be connected to this streak. Now for Aries ascendant people, Rohitji, moon is going to be transiting into Virgo. that is the 6th house um uh, yesterday we made the another version which was hindi version for uh, the same video and many people said two or three said negative negative so yes negative is there when moon and ketu will be together it will be a negative so we have to understand that all the planet have positive negative and worse side to them so when moon and ketu are together it is a negative time and especially this is happening in the 6th house of work routine profession debts enemies so there there can be some kind of challenges which you can face during this time so other than that special care has to be taken in areas related to work rohit ji especially work okay this is where the problem can happen and especially you have to understand that this is happening in the house of mercury so what what can happen is communication problem can happen in the work area which can create more troubles for you but uh, uh, moon and ketu here on the other hand a uh, moon aspecting the 12th house and where rahu is sitting if you are thinking or going or planning to go abroad somewhere or hear some good news from a foreign country it is going to be possible during this time then moon enters into libra moon goes into the 7th house rohit ji uh, here 4th house lord in the 7th house it's a good time for all the people it's like you know moon creating little bit of mis- misunderstanding in the workplace but here it again restores your status 7th house is the house of status so it comes and restores your status so february 1st uh, till february 3rd moon will be here so no problem but moon in virgo is a little bit challenge okay Rem- always remember mercury and moon do not play a very good um relationship with each other then mercury enters into february 1st into your capricorn sign into your 10th house here the communication lord and the 6th house lord is in the 10th house this means that in the work area in the career area in uh, so because of sun sitting already sitting here it, it's a very good time for you guys They actually in a positive way things might have been working very great in the Uh, work area those who are going through mercury dasha and antar dasha they can experience some great elevation in their career some great uh, you know communication they can receive communication rather than they don't have to communicate they can receive good communication from the management regarding some kind of good news if we talk about bigger planets like jupiter sitting in the first house making sure that your wisdom is becoming more powerful this year saturn in the 11th house slow and steady you are trying to achieve all your goals and rahu and ketu in 6th and 12th house see ketu in the 6th house can create some kind of problems or enemies in work area some new enemies lot debt lot of debt and rahu in the 12th house can make you a little bit spiritual travel would be high on the higher side lot of travel and things like uh, you know what we say uh sometimes little bit problem like accidents or stuff like that also can happen so you have to be careful because this can take you towards hospitals journey of hospitals but otherwise in dushtana in 6th and 12th house rahu and ketu actually they give very good results so whatever the biggest to biggest problem that will come to you they will make sure that it is not very harmful for you problem has to come life is full of problems but it will not be harmful So all the best, Aries Sesson and people. Those who are watching for the first time, do subscribe. Those who have already subscribed, thank you so much. There is a link in the description for appointment. You can book an appointment with me through that link. Moving on to Taurus ascendant, Rohit Ji. Now here for Taurus Moon, whenever it is in Taurus sign, it is exalted, right, Rohit Ji? It is always exalted. Now here, 30th of January, uh, Moon will enter into Virgo. 
and moon entering into the fifth house makes a very big statement here that there will be some kind of challenge in the area related to education related to creativity related to children related to your love and romance life so this is where we have to be little bit careful during this week in the beginning of the week when you know on 30th of january i think today is 20th 28th and moon is right now in uh, uh, in your 4th house for so that we did the prediction last week that how it is going to be but as soon as moon is entering here we have to be careful in the areas related to children what we need to do during this time 5th house is the house of mantra chanting and here for taurus ascendant people mercury rules the 5th house and the deity that mercury always bows down to is lord ganesha so you should do little bit of mantra chanting related to lord ganesha om gan ganpate nama this is what you should do later on moon will enter into the 6th house so the 3rd house lord is in the 6th house that means here there can be some communication kind of communication or good communication it's not a bad um, place for moon to be or uh, some good communication in your work area in area related to your career in area related to your if you were applying for some loan or something or you were looking for some documents trying to find something like that uh, this will happen during this week so it's a positive sign 6th house is also the house of hidden enemies uh, and enemies as well and from here moon is aspecting the 12th house and 12th house lord is also aspecting moon causing a gajya kesari yog whenever moon and jupiter also look at each other without any big affliction it is gajya kesari yog and this gajya kesari yog is supposed to be very positive in terms of health and wealth so all the best for taurus ascendant people then mercury is making its transit in the 9th house now the second house lord in the 9th house whenever there will be a connection of second and 9th house fifth lord in 9th house that means dhana that means money is going to come now this does not mean only this week money will come this is just a transit that has happened so overall money will be following for a longer period of time when mercury is here so your destiny somehow supports you to get some wealth this week onwards so if you are into speculative business very good time for you but understand ketu is in the 5th house okay you can make headless decisions and create trouble for your own self on the other hand the second house lord mercury is in 9th uh, house a maraka in the 9th house little bit trouble to father as well like challenge so this is the negative side of mercury so everything it is not positive right so so but overall when we talk about your period for this week it is going to be a pleasant one all the best in the beginning of the week there is a little bit hiccup in the fifth in the cure creativity and your happiness area you might feel sad but uh, nonetheless uh, it is going to improve over the week ends those who are watching for the first time do subscribe those who have already subscribed thank you so much those who have um, uh, you know those who want to talk to me personally whatsapp link is in the description below gemini ascendant people now here lagna lord is making a transit this week okay so very positive for you guys on the other hand if we talk about uh, moon currently uh, it's 28th right it's monday today or uh, 29th uh, uh, it's uh, monday i think yes 28 for us it is sunday 29th so here uh, moon is right now in leo and transiting from leo on 30th of january to virgo here this is the fourth house fourth house what is the fourth house do you see fourth house is the house of your mother of your domestic life of your house of your cars of of uh, what we say uh, internal inner peace happiness here what is happening moon when conjuncts ketu it is a kind of a grahan yog grahan you know whenever moon will be with ketu and this is not a pleasant yog for uh, you there can be little bit challenges in area related to domestic life home some kind of repairs in the home some kind of trouble in related to you know what we say uh, mother's health or some kind of gains that you were supposed to get from mother uh, not happens long distance travel on a positive side those who want to do go into long distance travel those who want to uh, apply for a foreign country visa this is the right time for you because if fourth house is afflicted you are supposed to go to a foreign country so that means you know every planet has a negative and a positive aspect to it even with the worst conjunctions there is some positivity so we have to be careful in such areas and when moon and ketu are together in the house of mercury and mercury is the lagna lord as well as the kendra lord here 
worshipping lord ganesha is very very extremely important so during this time if you can go to temple visit ganesh ji or just in your mind and in your you know in your subconscious mind say om ganesha ay namah it's going to be very positive then moving on moon enters into libra now the second house lord is in the fifth house remember whenever second house lord in fifth house has any kind of connection it is the time of wealth it is the time of creative output that means the creativity that you have put or the ideas that you have put to the universe now universe has to give it back to you this also is the house of ma lakshmi lakshmi sthan it is a lakshmi trikon that means the corner house lakshmi house here uh, whenever moon will be sitting here it is going to generate or give you some wealth now wealth can come out of property wealth can come out of mother wealth can come out of uh, your own creative effort that you have put or from children also so wealth is going to come wealth from speculation this is a house of speculation from where we see share market or things like you know taking bigger risks in life this is that house so if you have taken bigger risk in the past this is the time for a reward so all the best then mercury enters into capricorn so mercury here is the lagna lord going to the 8th house with sun not a very pleasant time for your ascendant lord to go in the 8th house so the negative parts of uh, lagna lord going into the 8th house is here it will give you challenge related to some kind of court cases if any skin problems some skin allergies problem in teeth because it is from there aspecting the second house of your mouth so mercury rules the teeth and gums for you and on the other hand it can also cause some kind of dispute in partnerships but what are the positive signs when mercury is in the 8th house your introspection deep level you go very deep into yourself and try to meditate or some kind of hidden enemies who are trying to you know, trouble you or cause problem to you come out you know suddenly you they will be revealed and mercury in the 8th house also makes positive impact when it is with the sun so if anything that you need to um, talk to the government want to uh, discuss with the government some documents some communication with the government can be positive during this period so make the most use of it it is a positive time for uh, gemini ascendant people those who are watching for the first time do subscribe those who have already subscribed thank you so much there is a link in the description which will help you to uh, book an appointment if needed only only if needed uh, very soon uh, you know uh, i know i all the people who are watching might have booked appointments so many are pending the only reason is that i have a small small little cute baby at home she was born here exactly on 19th so it's like not even uh, 10 days now so i am taking it slow here so you might find little bit delay in appointments but yeah we are booking for sure all the best cancer ascendant people now moon enters into virgo sign ha huh? moon is the lord the lagna lord enters into third house now this is the time then from 30th till 1st of february you might find a little bit challenge in your life and that challenge can be through the mode of communication through some kind of communication problem but not a very big deal you know not a very very big problem that you should be worried about because lagna lord is a protector of the chart when sitting with ketu here can trigger communication problem but on the other hand it can also trigger in a positive way uh, short distance journeys in a positive way uh, some kind of dispute that was with your siblings you might be able to solve them so it is not always that it will give you bad results only hai na it can give you very positive results as well then later moon enters into the fourth house now lagna lord in the house of inner peace and happiness here restores lot of peace with your mother with your family good family good work life balance jupiter from the 10th house aspecting Ju uh, moon here moon aspecting jupiter making gaj kesri yog so progress in career progress in your home environment some kind of auspicious ceremony in the home some kind of puja in the house some such good things can happen to cancer ascendant people but on a somewhere you know uh, because third house uh, you know mercury creates a little bit like third house moon when moon is here in the third house uh, it can create some kind of rift in the work area also jupiter is there to support you but in work area you have to be careful then on the same day mercury says i am going to be making a move to capricorn so mercury enters into the 7th house 12th house lord 
third house lord in the seventh house in a maraka stan so it's a dushtana stan it's a third house is a house of difficulty lord in the seventh house so communication problem from your siblings communication problems with your wife or your husband or communication with business partnerships has to be taken care of and utmost care during this period well this is a house that is very important house for uh, mercury because it is the house of a friend it is the house of a dear friend that is saturn but even saturn is not mool trikon in capricorn now saturn is mool trikon in aquarius so that means that here there will be little bit of challenge that you might have to face in communication related to your partnerships and wife and things like that and spouses so what we need to do is we need to be quiet during this time uh new partnership opportunities should be avoided hai na it is better to just work on the current uh, partnerships that you already have new partnerships should be avoided otherwise you will just add a, another layer of problem to you uh 12th house lord in the 7th house also means that those who are in a foreign country might achieve some kind of a status that means either this this is the positive side right so if you are out of your uh, city if you are out of your country this is the time that you may receive some status some kind of good um, uh, elevation in your career because 7th house is 10th from the 10th that means this is the house of your career expansion so let's hope for the best you know very very nice later on uh, uh, so this is what is happening this week um, what uh, i would like to request is that those who are watching for the first time do subscribe those who have already subscribed thank you so much there is a whatsapp link in the description you click on it and you will be easily able to come and talk to me and my team and we will be able to put you uh, in a uh, consultation uh, my friend from dubai he is cancer ascendant my wife is cancer ascendant one of my student very dear one is cancer ascendant i have a track of all the things that is happening in their life so little bit challenge they were facing now things are becoming little bit better for them and that is because of the bigger planet soichi jupiter in the 10th house giving professional elevation looking in the second house giving little, little bank balance uh, same way looking in the fourth house restoring domestic peace and happiness looking in the sixth house making sure work daily work is smooth so good things are also happening to uh, cancer ascendant so all the rest moving on to leo ascendant ruji so moon is entering into virgo now moon is the 12th house lord for leo ascendant people getting into the second house especially with ketu has a positive and negative impact both so always a planet will not have negative impact only it can have positive and negative impact both here moon entering this place means that you can have challenge related to speech some kind of speech that you do especially with conjunction with ketu of moon some speech will be headless speech or dis or speaking that you will do which will create little bit of problem in your family life number one is this secondly because this is the house of money bank balance your resources that you already have this is the time that you will be spending money so ruj what i have done so i am also leo ascendant right so what i have done i plan it according to transit only i had to buy something and i i i could have buy, bought it like 3 weeks or 2 weeks ago but i said no i will wait for moon to enter with ketu in the second house and buy in that area because i already have to take money from my bank account and buy something so this is how you plan when you know the transit that okay you know this kind of energy is coming so why do i why the hell should i do it now let me just wait and have patience and that is what i have done i will be buying something on 1st february that i uh, or on uh, between 30th and 1st february which i wanted to buy and that is a fixed asset related to some kind of gold um, and things like that okay so that is how you have to plan this is what astrology is now here uh, another thing that uh, uh, we know the positive thing that can happen is that uh, those who have already invested in big areas like they have invested in big areas moon here being third from itself you can get some kind of good news like maybe your investment becomes double or some investment is doing suddenly very well that also can happen but the thing is that that is the good news where you cannot touch that investment it is just going to come to you that oh, there is a good news that you know you put that policy now the this is the dividend that you are getting this year that is the kind of good news but you will not be able to use it at the moment then moon enters into libra into the third house the 12th house lord in the third house that means for a long distance journey 
long distance journey for a shorter period of time can happen for leo ascendant people like this is the time that i will be deciding of going to a going to toronto for a, for two days because i have to go and work there so see this is how you have to decide long distance uh, journey for a short period of time so uh, you should do this another thing very good uh, some news from the siblings from your neighbors some good communication that comes to you which will be making you very happy and that can be from a foreign country so all the best then here what happens mercury the lord of the 11th house and the lord of the second house that means it is extreme important planet money planet goes into the sixth house of workplace so here some kind of debt some kind of workplace uh, you know profit from your workplace profit from your um, uh, what you say profit from enemies this is what can happen during this time for all the leo ascendant people mercury in the sixth house uh, will make you work very hard by the way so but you know your ideas will be uh, given much and much uh what you say like people will really value what you speak they will be very considerate of understanding what you are trying to say and make a point so all the best for you leo ascendant people those who are watching the video for the first time do subscribe those who have already subscribed thank you so much there is a whatsapp link in the description you can click on it for personal appointments and we will talk about your chart virgo ascendant people so now whenever we talk about virgo so moon uh you know is a is is the lord of the 11th house which is gains and lord of the 11th house coming into the lagna especially with ketu conjunction with ketu from 30th of january till 1st of february here there can be challenge from your own side that means you yourself can create some problem for your own self sometimes so roji i created a once a problem for myself so very long ago when i was a naughty guy naughty kid i i had an accident okay so there was an accident which took place so and it was not my fault otherwise god is watching right so what i did i i was filling my petrol tank and suddenly this guy behind my car comes and tells that i am from the police and you know your car has this number we are trying to look for you from a longer period of time for this car can you go to the police station he did not take my number anything nothing at all he just saw me and i went to the police and after that 8 years i had to go and run a case which had nothing to do but i spent like more than so crazy money and in the judge in, in the end judge said that it's not your mistake so you are free to go but i had to pay the lawyer so much because of my headless mistake if he was telling me that accident happened why the hell should i go to the police station let the police come to me so i went and confessed and made a stupid just such kind of stupid decisions people can make that if something that is not required to be done you will be doing it and causing trouble for your own self for a longer period so you have to be careful virgo ascendant people <clears throat> so your aura personality will be a little confused during the beginning of this week then moon enters the 11th house lord enters into the second house now roji whenever there will be a placement like this when the 11th house lord goes into the second house there will be monetary gains so i don't know how monetary gains and who are going through venus dasha or moon dasha all the people who are going through venus and moon dasha might find some kind of monetary gains during this period so it is a very positive time for people who are going through such dasha let's hope for the best right monetary gains in fact happiness family happiness and uh, gains through some kind of speech or some kind of presentation or some kind of ideas can also be possible if your self respect was at stake or at problem here you will be able to restore it because this is how moon is one day there is problem next day there is a solution and mercury on the other hand the lord the the kendra lord then the lagna lord enters into the fifth house making one of the best positions for mercury for virgo ascendant people because here mercury is going to give you extreme creativity wealth happiness from children good new prospects of education some kind of new courses you might start new ideas new startups those who want to start new companies new ideas this is the right time of the year when mercury is entering this place you can make the best use of this time but for that your personalized chart is important and for that we have a whatsapp link in the description for personal appointments and um, those who are watching the video for the first time do subscribe so that we can connect and understand your chart better as well as you can follow this streak of weekly horoscopes and understand that how and what kind of 
effect it has on you in your personal life moving on to libra ascendant and i had a call today from one of the libra ascendant and said sir not happy at all i said why he said you used to say libra you do not say libra anymore i'm like okay libra <laughs> for libra ascendant people moon is entering into virgo and moon is the owner of the 10th house getting into the 12th house what we need to be most careful about is work area there can be some loss of re reputation or some loss of job or some problem in the career area that is because of ketu and moon conjunction in the 12th house now for libra ascendant people ketu is right now positioned in one of the best positions that it can have this if this position is in your birth chart it uh, signifies moksha but if it is not in your uh, birth chart then this uh, uh, right now signifies higher spirituality and higher consciousness your consciousness going up higher in life this is what it means here ketu on the other hand with moon uh, can give you a little bit of expenses like you this is the house of expenses this expenses can be wasteful expenses some expenses that is not required at all so it's best to go during this time buy some medicines which are not of your use or buy some for i would always suggest for libra ascendant people they should be distributing menstrual pads to women so menstrual pads you can buy and just give it to some random woman uh, who might be in need like don't give it to supermodels going on the road but some construction workers some homeless people something like that a small kit of little bit of sweets and you know uh, menstrual pads or some kind of uh, you know soap something like fragrant soap because that is what all venus is so you are doing the actual remedy of venus that you should be doing moon and ketu in the 12th house will make you do some expenses so it's better to expense on these kind of items so that bigger expenses are safe for you spiritually wise you will be doing very good in the work area you have to be very careful some people might even lose their job during this time because this is what happens whenever moon triggers something some things can happen okay later on moon will enter into the lagna the 10th house hot in the first house means that those who are uh, going through moon moon and venus period might benefit the best this is the time of grooming this is the time of uh, being very happy being very bright this is what that time is so all the best this is the best time for you this february 1st february starts with a very good news for you then on the same day mercury also transits and enters into capricorn so mercury is the lord here of the 12th house mercury is the lord of the 9th house so foreign distance foreign journey planet long distance travel planet spirituality planet dharma planet everything is mercury here entering into the 4th house now we know the statement right charity begins at home same way you have to make sure that you come into com complete discipline kind of a uh, area in in as soon as in the in the home area for you there can be sun and mercury making a conjunction here and all both of them looking at the uh, you know 10th house can again cause some kind of disturbance in the career area but fourth house uh, mercury here triggers also triggers that if you are trying to go for a long distance travel if you are trying to do some kind of construction work in your home if you are trying to do some kind of buying of a vehicle or something it is going to be a positive good period for you and it may be uh, churning out in a very positive uh, side for you so all the best libra ascendant people libra those who are watching the video for the first time do subscribe those who have already subscribed thank you so much there is a link for appointment in the description so you can book an appointment with me and we can talk in detail about your chart moving on to scorpio ascendant people now here a positive thing about your lagna lord is that lagna lord is sitting in the second house generating wealth for you looking at the 8th house sudden gains as well looking at the 5th house uh, gains from education or gains from children looking at the 9th house that means your destiny is also working for you so so many things your lagna lord alone is doing by sitting in the second house for you and where now moon is entering into the 11th house for you and moon is the 9th house lord in the 11th house so here you have to be a little bit careful when moon and ketu are together it can cause some misunderstanding between friends between office colleagues between your network your social network your statement or your you know social media status might create some kind of questions around your social network people or around your social life so there you have to be careful 
you know, do not criticize anyone during this time because you moon and ketu together can make you my emotional emotional fool that is in simple word what it means then the ninth house lord first of february enters into the 12th house so whenever ninth and 12th house connection happens there is travel happening or there is some pilgrimage happening going to some ashram suddenly meeting some very spiritual person suddenly getting the darshan of sadhu of priests is possible suddenly uh, getting into some kind of unexpected call about a, uh, a very auspicious ceremony or puja is possible so this is what is going to happen but on the other hand there will be expenses also due to spiritual or spiritual reasons or some kind of expenses due to charity this is what can happen for you during this time and the same day mercury enters into the third house now the 11th house lord is in the third house of communication and mercury is the karak of communication with sun here this is also the house of hard work of your personal interest of what you what your what other siblings and what your neighbors and things like that look or feel about you this is what that house is here it is a time that communication wise if uh, especially uh, communication with your father with your mentors with your elders has to be in complete uh, you know mindfulness you have to have proper mindfulness because mercury is aspecting an enemy house from here that is the ninth house so this week we have to make sure this week no this month only because mercury will be here for almost the whole month and we have to be careful that we do not make any kind of unnecessary argumentative because sun is also with mercury right it becomes a little bit harsh no argumentative um uh, what you say communication with your mentors with your gurus with your bosses during this time this is important but uh, otherwise this is a nice week for you good week for you a very spiritually fully packed week because of the moon ninth house lord in the 12th house of spirituality ninth house is house of dharma as well it is a house of all the dharma that we have accumulated all the karma that we have accumulated over this year it is the house of burning of karmas see it is loss of karmas also ruji ji when you see the house of karma is a 10th house and from 10th till from 10th to 12th is the house of burning all your karmas that's why 9th house is called the bhagyasthan yeah so very important all the best those who are watching the video for the first time do subscribe those who have already subscribed thank you so much very very uh, kind of you and those who want to book a personal appointment here whatsapp link is in the description they can book and we can discuss your chart in detail by seeing what planets and what is happening in you moving on to sagittarius ascendant roji ji now moon enters moon where what is the moon here moon is the ashtam ashtam lord you know it is not a very good lord here jupiter has given moon because of the problem that moon created with jupiter's wife and then um, uh, what he was uh, moon, uh, mercury was born so jupiter treats moon as an enemy but just imagine whenever jupiter and moon are sitting together it is gaj kesari yog because their enmity in the celestial world is on their personal level but when it comes to the kalyan jan kalyan that means when it come to the things to the world to the outer world they are benefit together whenever they are sitting together it is gaj kesari yog so it is very positive now here roji ji a uh, moon entering into the 10th house of career with ketu can cause some problem in your status in the career area in your business you might make some kind of wrong decisions but uh, on the positive side this also is the time of lot of introspection uh, it is a time of lot of uh, research and understanding what other people want so you cannot always be right there are other people who also need something from me i do a lot of readings roji ji every one oh i am so tired of this job they demand so much work from me i work 12 hours 13 hours so i am just trying to understand that the, no one is accepting the positive side of the work that they have work they are only thinking about that oh there is so much stress my other colleagues are getting so much and this and that so if everyone's destiny was same then earth would not have been a challenging place for us right everyone's destiny is different in this world having work only at most is a blessing so always make sure that you send positive energy to the universe that i have work i am so blessed if it is hard work hard work it is there good that means you are capable of doing it otherwise it will not come to you so be happy later on 
the eighth house lord will be in the eleventh house. So here you have to be very careful about your legs because there can be some problem in the legs area because Mars is also from the lagna aspecting the eighth house, some kind of problem in the legs. But on an overall level, you will shine in the social society, in the networking. You will shine in uh, with your business colleagues. You will shine in your uh, work area. There will be some kind of good news that comes to you. So that is a positive sign for you. And moving on that same day, Mercury will enter into your second house of wealth. And Mercury here is the Lagna Lord, uh, is the 10th uh, house Lord, Karmesh, Karma Lord, and the 7th house Lord, the Lord of your, you know, um, uh, the Lord related to your spousal or business partnerships. Coming into the second house of Dhan, Kutumb and Vani, that means it is of money, it is of speech, and it is of family. This is what the second house represents in detail. Otherwise, it represents also your eyes. It represents the right eye for you. It represents the tongue for you. It represents teeth for you. It represents throat for you. It represents neck for you. So many things, you know, when you go start, there are 10,000 things it represents. It represents losses of siblings. If a sibling has to die, you have to see from the second house. It represents losses that you have made through your communication because it is 12th from the um, second, uh, from the third house. It also represents, uh, see the lagna, it represents all the monetary gains that you get out of your effort because first house is the house of your effort as well as your approach towards life. And this is the house of respect that you get from the society. So here is where Mercury is coming, which is the Kendra Lord. So it is a very nice time for Sagittarius Ascendant people because wealth will be accumulated, family life will be very good, and things like speech. And Mercury is a planet of communication, so speech will be very awesome that you will be doing some good um, speaking, good presentations, which will get you more recognition, more wealth. Business will expand. If family business is what you do, it is going to be one of the most positive times this month in the whole year for you. All the best. So those who have watched for the uh, first time, do subscribe. Those who have already subscribed, thank you so much. There is a WhatsApp link in the description for personal appointments. You can click on it, come on WhatsApp, and we can discuss your chart in detail. Capricorn Ascendant people, Roichi, one of the favorite Ascendants in the world. There is no one better than Capricorn Ascendant. I can bet it. Rohitji's Ascendant, Few weeks ago, I was feeling that Capricorn is not so best, but now my daughter Grace is also born in Capricorn Ascendant. So that means it is actually one of the best Ascendants. I cannot have fight at my house because of this Ascendant. So it is one of the best. There is my Rohit's daughter. Rohitji daughter is also Capricorn. My daughter is also Capricorn. Rohitji also Capricorn. So I don't want to fight with anyone, Rohitji. So yeah, we have a big group now. Yeah, you have a big group. And all the Leo people are, you know, so so stressed because of this. <laughs> Anyways, so for Capricorn Ascendant people, Moon will enter into Virgo into the ninth house. Ninth house is the house of father. Ninth house is the house of, you know, literature. Ninth house is the house of higher education. Ninth house is the house of, uh, you know, mentors, gurus. You know, so during this time, Ketu Ketu is very nice, very nicely placed in the ninth house. Whenever it is in the ninth house, it is comfortable. Ninth house, twelfth house, sixth house, eighth house. It is very comfortable. Here, it makes a statement that when Moon and Ketu are together, there can be a little bit challenge in terms of higher education or something kind of wrong learning can come to you. Some learning which is not supposed to be uh, Im implemented. Yeah? We say, okay, okay, you know, so just an example, Rohichi. I, my friend from Edmonton came, they said that there is someone from the Italy, uh, from Italy who came here and uh, now he's relocated here. But from it, even after coming from Italy for one year, without telling the government what it is happening, they were taking child benefit. Because one of their friend explained, oh, you know what, we can do, this is the loophole where you take child benefit like this and that. So you, they were taking 900 euros a, a month for almost uh, one year. Now, just imagine, this is so unethical, right? The, the country is giving you so much. Uh, you know, if you are there, if you are not there and you are taking that money illegally or things like that, so uh, that is a challenge. That is not a very good thing. So such kind of siksha, such kind of higher learning can be given by friends to you during this period to become unethical. 
that's why we don't want to be unethical we want to be ethical we want to be in the right direction and that is what astrology comes into play that this combination shows that some people can come into your life who can give you bad uh, advice so don't take bad advice on a positive sign ketu and moon here might make you extra spiritual or you may be completely blessed feeling blessed during this time and and blessed in trouble so you will be in trouble there will be some challenges in your relationship especially because the seventh house lord is in the ninth house third from itself so some challenges in communication in relationships in business partnerships can be the problem but still you will be at peace and you will be with god and you will be with lot of spiritual power so embrace this time later moon enters into the 10th house the whenever the 7th house lord is in the 10th house there will be some good news that or recognition that comes from the work area for you like for example i will tell rohit ji wow rohit ji you have done such good uh, presentations it looks so nice that kind of um, uh, what we say uh, appreciation can come uh, in the 10th house it is also the house considered the house of father so if the problem to father was coming little bit of challenges related to health here he will be feeling very nice and positive now you will be also feeling nice and positive in career area you will shine in a simple way on the same day your lagna is now going to be occupied by mercury the bhagya lord the sixth house lord in the lagna health wise we have to be careful but otherwise your destiny will be completely in your hands like whatever you do your destiny will also support you during this time so make sure to make the best of it only the problem is that mercury aspect in the 7th house can create little bit of challenges in relationships which we have to be careful about otherwise a very good very nice week for capricorn ascendant people those who are watching the video for the first time do subscribe those who have already subscribed thank you so much there is a whatsapp link in the description for personal appointments you can click on it and we can talk and discuss your chart in detail that what when how where what is happening to you all the best aquarius ascendant people now lagna lord in the lagna very very nice time for you guys uh, but lagna lord is also making your life little difficult because of the third aspect on the third house making you work hard seventh aspect your partnerships are slow but they will happen for sure and the other aspect on the 10th house career also is going very slow but because lagna lord is coming into lot of power you will suddenly see a spike in lot of things in your life lot of things in your life so all the best before the week starts only now 30th of january is when moon will enter into your into the 8th house causing a vipreet raj yog so this is the time when if you are going through some kind of problems related to health or with enemies or with legal troubles or with debt here you will get some kind of relief especially ketu here and moon together can cause some accident kind of uh, problems or some kind of sudden uh, shock you know you get in sudden shock that kind of problem can happen you will realize when you come into shock like you are crossing the road and you did not pay attention and the bike was coming in like completely in shock this is what it does when they are together in the 8th house so when you will come across such thing you will only remember about me and immediately say the mahamrityunjay mantra after it when this is very much required for you from 30th till 1st of february when om trayambakam yajamahi sugandhin pushti vardana murva rikvandana mrityur mukshi amamrita very important for you to so this week beginning of this week start chanting this mantra because both the places both the planets are in dushtana as a moon sixth house lord in the eighth house causes trouble or problems or health problems or accidents kind of stuff it will solve it but it will cause it so what we need to do we cannot stop something to be caused but we the snake is going to bite you and you are going to get poison in your body only the thing is your pocket has a small injection which has antidote you put it and no problem poison is goes away so that is poison is going to happen so you need antidote that is what is required later on moon will enter into libra that is your ninth house this is the house of higher learning your gurus your spirituality your intuition your so many positive things dharma Uh, kar- not karma but um, cutting the karma that means all the bad deeds that you have done in your past life here you can come and start accumulating good deeds and make sure that okay because you did this and you did this oh cancellation of this karma cancellation of this karma this is what this house is it is also the house of pilgrimage it is also house of travel to small uh, travel to some kind of uh, places related to religious importance so this is also in your cards this week that you may travel to some places of religious importance 
so all the best on in in simple way your destiny will be working for you so it is very positive in your workplace also you may get some kind of good news later on mercury on the same day goes into the 12th house again making a vipreet raj yog so mercury also makes a win so 8th house lord in the 12th house here mercury might make you do some expenses related to some legal or expenses related to medicine these are the two things now this legal um, uh, expenses can also be just renewing a contract or getting a stamp paper or really getting someone out of bail or really going to jail you know it can be anything depending on your dasha antar dasha and things like that but on a positive side when mercury sitting here in the 12th house it makes a vipreet raj yog and a biggest biggest challenge or problem that you are into it will take you out of it so if your challenge is related to inheritance it will take you out of it there will be some way that you will find if your challenge is related to some kind of accident or some kind of problem injury that you got it will now give you relief so it is positive also in this area spirituality wise it is one of the best time for you to act spiritual to feel spiritual and to enter that unknown space in your life through your internal communication through communication with your soul on a soul level so very positive solitude is what we are i'm talking about so do it it will be one of the best time for you thank you so much uh, this is i hope this becomes a very very awesome week for you those who are watching for the first time do subscribe those who have already subscribed thank you so much um, there is a, a whatsapp link in the description for personal appointments if you click on it you will be able to come and talk to me and then we can discuss your chart in detail moving on to pisces ascendant one of the best ascendants in the world because this is the ascendant that is ruled by jupiter and this is the uh, this is the house which also this is also the sign which also tells us ends of desires okay so pisces people ascendant people are really very very nice and genuine gentle people they want to take their life in a very positive they have a very positive and very calm approach because see pisces is again a sign that is related to water and kind of stuff right it is related to you see the sign the two uh, fishes you know a very calm relaxed and very uh, focused kind of personality they are now here jupiter the lagna lord of your is sitting in progression in the second house that means you are progressing in wealth there is going to be good progression in wealth for all the people those who are going through jupiter mahadasha for pisces ascendant people but today we are going to talk about the weekly and here moon is entering into virgo into the 7th house so what is the 7th house 7th house is the house of relationships it is already a house ruled by mercury here which is in the 10th house so you have to maintain work life balance otherwise there will be trouble in your relationships here because ketu is conjunct with the uh, moon uh, you have to be careful in relationships and especially with your spouse or uh, any kind of headless thing you will say to your spouse or any emotionally com coming under any emotional pressure you will make your life difficult one so this is the time of relax this is not the time of argument this is the type of just not to react on any kind of thing this is more it is very important time for you to just chill in a simple way don't react too much in the in the relationship area in partnership also if you find feel that your other partner is not up to the mark or creating some problem or not uh, the right one you should just avoid talking about it in this week especially because otherwise it will be become a big issue later on moon will enter into the 8th house now here again uh, i am not giving again this is a disclaimer i am not promoting anything but this is the time people make good money in speculation like any kind of lottery any kind of share market because the 5th and the 8th house has a connection now whenever the 5th and the 8th house has connection there is going to be some happiness that comes from uh, uh, lit, uh, what we say either children either it comes from uh, speculation so those who are into speculation can try their luck this week in the higher sense you know, they can get some good uh, results in this week um, uh, gains from uh, uh, you know gains from inheritance like if you have to gain from your mother that is also possible if you you were asking your mother about something and not getting it and that could just be uh, the most in, favorite vegetable of yours that also you will get during this period because it is the moon is positioned in such a way then later mercury who is the lord here of the kendras goes into the 11th house so biggest to biggest goals in relationships biggest to biggest roles in your house area that you were or in your uh, domestic life that you were supposed to achieve 
this is the month you will start achieving in this year so that means your relationship goal was something or your partnership goal was something or getting something out of career was your bigger goal here you will start seeing some progress after 1st of february and in your home area if you were supposed to renovate it if you were supposed to do some kind of um, um, you know work on your car or get a new car and a new house this is the right time when you will find the real way to get out get into it otherwise your bigger planets are sitting in the right position jupiter is in the right position saturn in the 12th house making you ex little expenses little little little, little expenses uh, is happening but otherwise it's a very good week for all the pisces ascendant people those who are watching for the first time do subscribe those who have already subscribed thank you so much there is a whatsapp link in the description for personal appointments book and let me know let me know you be more than happy to help you with your chart and understand your chart in detail thank you rohit ji for your support and listening to me so patiently because i don't think so listening to me so patiently is a very easy thing to do no uh, it's nothing like that because uh, you always have uh, you know some uh, real kind of hints from astrology whenever you say someone that this thing will happen with you this will happen i always see the chart very seriously how he is saying this thing and later on when i read comments people write this yes this is happened with me akash ji one thing happened with me yesterday also <laughs> you are astrologer but i am a very mini astrologer i told uh, today we are making video in hindi and uh, people will sit in rajai and uh, take tea and they will see video and one uh, i don't know which viewer it was right oh you are right i am sitting in rajai taking tea and watching your video <laughs> so i am <laughs> astrologer i was so <laughs> but uh, yes your all words always very important because your astrology is like a spin bowler i don't know where you put things and where it goes i never understand but it always come correct this is a big thing for me and so many transits coming now in the month of february from first step onwards so many important transit keep you know subscribing keep sharing stay tuned because all these transits are very important very important thank you very much if you want to consult akash ji if you want to take a benefit of his wisdom then you can send your details on the mail id or the whatsapp number given in the scroll or go to the description link which is uh, given in the description whatsapp link you will directly reach on the whatsapp of acs2 and you will have a video consultation with akash ji thank you to all the family members of acs2 thank you akash ji thank you very much for taking your time out after so much consultation so much things you guide all people thank you very much thank you very much video till then jai shri ram jai ram jai mata di jai